Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, session on Revit Structure 2014. What we're going to be doing here is looking at a new feature where you can change the join order of concrete. So you can see here I have a very simple model set up. Um, I've got some beams sitting in here and we have a concrete slab on top of the beams and we have some columns. Now what's going to happen is this, if we have a look at this model here you can see that I've uh, got this view here and I've isolated the view and you can see what happens when we join the slab to the columns. Problem is it always uh, used to break the column which was a bit of a shame really. And You can see it's also um, take the slab's taken precedent over the beams as well. So we now have a new tool that we can use. So if we go to the modify button here, you can see on the pull down I have this new tool here called switch join order. So I'm going to select that. And you can see here that I've already configured multiple switch, yeah, which uh, is useful in this situation. So I'm going to select the slab like so. And what we're able to do is now go around and pick the columns like so. And you can now see that now the columns are taking precedence and the slab has ch now changed. So you can now see that we have the breaks in the slab itself. So that's really, really good. And also a great thing about that, of course, is if I go back and create a graphical column schedule uh, based on that, let's just show you that so you can see it a bit easier, you can now see that there's no breaks in the column schedule. So that's a really nice change. So once again, that's uh, modify tab and switch join order. Very handy. Thank you very much. 